Let us open our Bible to the book of 1 Kings 9. 1 Kings 9. Sings signs, signs of gearing the fall. Signs of gearing the fall. 1 Kings 9 verses 1 to 9. God's answer to Solomon. Approximately 24 years after Solomon came to the throne, he has finished his greatest accomplishments, the temple and the palace of Jerusalem. Some interpreters comment that the word desired in verse 1 conveys a desire like that of a bridegroom toward his bride. Indeed, we as humans would think that after uh, such great achievements by the bridegroom in faithfulness, uh, in faithfulness and obedience to Yahweh, the bride, Solomon deserves a good rest enjoying the fruit of his labor in pleasures. The obsession with this kind of thinking may have been the start of Solomon's fall. Now that Solomon had a newly built and dedicated temple, God's answer to his prayer has a great condition, condition, Yahweh warns Solomon that he and his people should not be high-minded but fear. David certainly did not walk perfectly before the Lord and God tells Solomon to walk before him it's David did certainly walk perfectly before the Lord and God tells Solomon to walk perfectly before him as his father David walked. If Solomon walks before Yahweh in obedience and faithfulness, he can expect blessing on his reign and the reign of his descendants and the dynasty of David would endure forever. If Solomon and his descendants turn from following Yahweh, God promises to correct a disobedient Israel Yahweh's answer to Solomon's prayer in chapter 8 is not an unqualified promise to bless the temple in any circumstances. For he promised to have, I quote, always there his eyes, the, his eyes and his heart, end of quote. Uh, he is, is put to my mind in the scripture. His eyes to judge and his heart to forgive. Under the Old Testament, God promised to use Israel to exalt himself, God himself among the nations one way or another. If Israel obeyed, Yahweh would bless them so much that others couldn't help but recognize the hand of God upon Israel. But if Israel disobeyed, Yahweh would chastise them so severely that the nations would know that Yahweh brought calamity upon them. The lesson is, after all the services we can perform, 
we stand upon the same terms with Yahweh as before. Our doing good things to the glory of Yahweh does not take out anything from the covenant we have with Him. The works we do cannot buy us the freedom to sin. The true believer must not desire such a license. He would rather be chastised by Yahweh than be allowed to go on with ease and prosperity in sin. 1 Kings 9 verses 10 to 14 The presence of Solomon and, and Hiram Solomon makes a new ag agreement with King Hiram of Tyre who supplied him with cedar and pine and gold for the temple and palace. Solomon mortgages to Hiram 20 cities as a payment for supplies. Remember that Tyre was a prominent city of the land just north of, of Israel in current Lebanon. Tyre was noted for its fine wood. Kabul is said to be a Phoenician and signified displeasing. Displeasing. This is a Phoenician word signifying displeasing. Uh, Kabul, the word, the word. There is some reason to believe that the cities thus despised by Aram, which were situated in the northwest of Galilee, born in Tyre, were restored to Solomon in Second Chronicles 8 verse 2. And that Solomon rebuilt them and populated them with would populate them with the Israelites. That there was a country in this name in the promised land in the time of Joshua is evident enough from Joshua 19 verse 28 as it was one part of the boundary of the tribe of Asher. In Hebrew language, the word, the word, uh, the Hebrew word which actually signifies the border or boundary meant, I, uh, meant, meant good for nothing, good for nothing or unfruitful for Hiram. So Hiram does not like the cities. If Solomon wants to gratify Hiram, let it be in Hiram's own element by becoming his partner in trade, as he does already. Tyre was a very prosperous island, uh, thanks to its trade until the beginning of our, our uh, current era. Solomon, apparent, apparently a shrewd dealer, receives in return for the sale a large amount of gold, an estimated four metric tons. See how the providence of Yahweh sweeps these earth to the various tempers of men and the dispositions of men to the earth. And all of these for the good of mankind in general. 1 Kings 9 verses 15 to 28. Solomon's buildings, his trade. Here is a further account of Solomon's greatness. He began at the right end. For Solomon built God's house first and finish that before he began his own. 
Then Yahweh blessed him and he prospered in all his other buildings and businesses. Remember that his father David did the opposite. He first built his palace before asking Yahweh if he could build a temple for him, for him Yahweh, which our eternal father refused. Let pity begin and profit follow. Let pity begin and profit follow. Leave pleasure to the last. Whatever pains we take for the glory of God and to profit others, we are likely to have the advantage if we do those first. Canaan, the Holy Land, the glory of all lands, had no gold in it, which shows us that the best produce is what is for the present support of life, our own and others. Such things Canaan did produce. This forced labor, Dr. Bad, which is bond, bond, bond service, came from remnant Canaanite people. Uh, Solomon gathered the ga Solomon gathered the the, the, the workforce uh, 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 of them to complete uh, massive building projects. Archaeology is a witness to the to the ambitious and successful building projects of Solomon. Unfortunately. This is another apparent compromise by Solomon. Yahweh strictly commanded that the remnant of these Canaanite tribes be driven out of the land, not used as slave laborers in Israel. Solomon doesn't make Israelites forced laborers but he uses them to oversee the remnants of the Canaanite tribes. No one knows exactly where offer, offer, where offer in the last verse 28 was located. Suggestions have included the eastern coast, the eastern coast of Africa. In the ancient great Zimbabwe, which was the main center of South African trade of gold, the African shore of the Red Sea, with the name perhaps being derived from the Afa people of Egypt, Eritrea and Djibouti, or even Sofala in Mozambique. It there is also Saudi Arabia and India, India. Solomon got much by his merchandise, and yet had directed us in his all his writings, the proverbs and uh, everything. He has directed us to a better trade within the reach of the poorest, which is wisdom. Wisdom is better than merchandise of silver and again thereof than fine gold. We see this in Peter 3 verse 14. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us take these prayer points. Let us pray. My trade with Father Yahweh is not worldly for material advantages. In the name of Yeshua, my trade with Father Yahweh is not worldly for material advantages. In the name of Yeshua, my trade with Father Yahweh is not worldly for material advantages. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we pray. 
my trade with Yahweh is spiritual for my obedience to him and my acceptance in heaven. In the name of Yeshua, my trade with Yahweh is spiritual for my obedience to him and my acceptance in heaven. In the name of Yeshua, my trade with Yahweh is spiritual for my obedience to him and my acceptance in heaven. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Hail the mighty name of Yeshua. That be say, we pray. I will not be high-minded because of my works accomplished for God. I will keep fearing Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, I will not be high-minded because of my works accomplished for God. I will keep fearing Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, I will not be high-minded because of my works accomplished for God. I will keep fearing Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. As I work, as I walk before you in faithfulness and obedience, Father Yahweh, bless me with a rain that endures forever. In the name of Yeshua, as I walk before you in faithfulness and obedience, Father Yahweh, bless me with a rain that endures forever. In the name of Yeshua, as I walk before you in faithfulness and obedience, Father Yahweh, bless me with a rain that will endure forever. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. If my descendants and I turn from following you, Father Yahweh, correct us with your merciful hand in the name of Yeshua. If my descendants and I turn from following you, Father Yahweh, correct us with your merciful hand in the name of Yeshua. If my descendants and I turn from following you, Father Yahweh, correct us with your merciful hand. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. With my good works for your glory. Abba, Father, I will not try to purchase a license to sin. In the name of Yeshua, with my good works for your glory. Father Yahweh, I will not try to purchase a license to sin. In the name of Yeshua, with my good works for your glory. Abba, Father, I will not try to purchase a license to sin. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will only I will only use my works for Yahweh as the best training for obedience, submissiveness, and humility. In the name of Yeshua, I will only use my works for Yahweh as the best training for my obedience, submissiveness, and humility. In the name of Yeshua, I will only use my works for Yahweh as the best training for obedience, submissiveness, and humility. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your providence, which sweets, which, which sweets the earth to the various tempers of men. In the name of Yeshua, thank you, Father Yahweh, for your providence, which sweets the, the, this earth to the various tempers of men. In the name of Yeshua, thank you, Father Yahweh, for your providence, which sweets these earth to the various temples of men. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will abide by the good order of things. Father Yahweh, investing for you first, then investing for myself and others last. In the name of Yeshua, I will abide by the good order of things. Father Yahweh, investing for you first, then investing for myself and others last in the name of Yeshua, I will abide by the good order of things. Father Yahweh, 
Investing for you first, then investing for myself and others last. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Because I invest in you first, Father Yahweh, bless all my other investments with prosperity. In the name of Yeshua, because I invest in you first, Father Yahweh, bless all my other investments with prosperity. In the name of Yeshua, because I invest in you first, Father Yahweh, bless all my other investments with prosperity. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will always begin with TT before I expect the profit. In the name of Yeshua, I will always begin with TT before I expect profit. In the name of Yeshua, I will always begin with TT before I expect profit. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. All remnants of Canaanites on my promised land, I drive you out by the, the mighty hand of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, all the remnants of Canaanites on my promised land, I drive you out by the mighty hand of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, all the remnants of Canaanites on my promised land, I drive you out by the mighty hand of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will be careful not to involve the enemy into my investments in Christ. In the name of Yeshua, I will be careful not to involve the enemy into my investments in Christ. In the name of Yeshua, I will be careful not to involve the enemy into my investments in Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Better than silver and gold, I will trade wisdom with the world. In the name of Yeshua, better than silver and gold, I will trade wisdom with the world. In the name of Yeshua, better than silver and gold, I will trade wisdom with the world. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of teaching, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual growth, your word of spiritual elevation, your word of spiritual strengthening. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our confessions, you heard our prayers of repentance, and after you heard, you took away our filthy garment of sin and iniquity and dressed it with a brand new garment, a garment cleaner than snow, and then the garment of your own spirit. Thank you, Father and Lord, for your, for, your, for your love, for your endless love to us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you, Yahweh, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your, for your, uh, for your forgiveness. Thank you, uh, Father. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. This is the prayer line of our Assembly of Prayer followers. We hold two prayer sessions on this prayer line every day from Monday to Saturday. Our morning session starts at 5 a.m. Our night session starts at 9.30 p.m. During the week, we hold church services. On Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m., we normally hold the work and study on Thursday. We are open to take you for spiritual counseling to get your appointment for spiritual counseling. Call the phone number 240-440-1438. On Sunday, our Sunday service starts at 9.30 a.m. And every first Friday of the month, we hold an art vigil. The art vigil uh, is expected next uh, Friday. And uh, the night vigil starts at, at 10.30 p.m. Let us pray these closing prayers. Let us pray the prayer. Good Lord, yes, for the Messiah left us to pray. Our oh, Father, who oh, art in heaven, Lord. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on Lord, earth as it is in Lord. heaven. Give Lord. us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as Lord. we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not into temptation but deliver us of evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Now with the waving of our hands to our loving Father Yahweh, let us shout seven joyful hallelujah, seven victorious hallelujah, seven thanksgiving hallelujah to our good Father Yahweh. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, 